My name is Nashika Nezrel. I'm a dancer choreographer based in Berlin. I came to dance quite late, so I would consider myself an autodidactic, or I have an autodidactic approach to, to dance. I work a lot with improvisation and Recently, I was realizing that there's a lot more to dance than just choreography. There's all the thoughts about costumes and set design and music and any kind of visual elements that you want to accompany the, the dance. And so I thought to, or like in the last months, I have been trying to approach movement and choreography, thinking about the visual elements and also approaching visual art. So yeah, I wanted to come to BlackRock to play with a lot of ideas that are brewing, whether it be for a live performance or also um, dance for film. Because it was a visual art residency and I had that in mind, I thought, okay, this is a perfect chance for me to explore different aspects and different mediums in the visual art context, but from a dance perspective, as I don't have a, a background in fine arts. Because I think for me, it's important to get into like a flow state. Um, so yeah, it's been a perfect space to like really have the time to delve into something and really letting it go somewhere without knowing what's the end. For me, the best work doesn't feel like work because <laughs> burnout is a real thing and people get very tired of the work that they do that they can't even talk about it in their personal lives. And for me, I wanted to kind of not have that, I guess, to feel like, yeah, all of the work that I'm doing is exciting, it's playful, it's evolving. I don't know what it's gonna be. I'd like to approach um, everything that I do from a place of not knowing. Even if I do know, I think it's fun to play with not knowing and kind of to surprise yourself, helping me and other people, I guess, to break patterns and old habits and get inspired by what's happening to tune into the mood. Because maybe I don't feel like doing this today or doing that today, and so I can really check in with myself. The dancing scene in Senegal is quite amazing. The people work hard, they're determined, lots of energy. I think some of the dancers were dancing from 10 in the morning until 10 at night with just a few little breaks to eat in between, but they were on to the next thing and I found that very admirable, this dedication to wanting to learn. Also, almost every dancer that I've met can do so many different styles. They can do contemporary, they crump, they dance hall, Afro beats, they break, they pop, like what sabar, all the traditional dances as well. Um, so that was something very inspiring for me as a person that isn't coming from a dance background. Um, the dance that I have was something that was very social and communal at church, at the family reunions, uh, at, at the barbecue or whatever, at the club. This is kind of how I approach dance from this space, so I really like the communal aspect and the, I don't know, the kind of free and casualness of the dance scene as well, that it's not always so structured or like, this is, we're doing contemporary. It's always like a little mix of a, a lot of different styles, which I find very valuable. It's like to have more and more uh, tools in your toolbox is always I feel that it's always valuable to have a lot of um, different tools and vocabularies and languages of movement in the toolbox so that you can better express yourself. I was kind of all over the place wanting to learn a lot of new things to see how it can influence my already dancing body.